Good morning friends. This video demonstrates the infusion of ozonized saline in a case of polyarticular rheumatoid. As ozone reacts with rubber, the first step is to remove the rubber from the infusion set. Once you cut the rubber off, the plastic has to be widened with an artery forcep and the end has to be fastened inside so that we now have a rubber free infusion set. This is a prime necessity. We now use a special rubber free 50 cc syringe and we withdraw 70 to 80 micrograms of ozone which is going to be injected into a glass bottle. In this particular case we are giving a one fourth of a liter oxygen through a special regulator. This can also be one eighth of a liter and we allow the ozone to gradually fill up into the syringe till we get 50 cc. Use only glass bottles without latex rubber top and ensure that you bubble the uh, ozone slowly through the saline. We can invert the bottle once or twice to gently shake it and ozonize the saline properly. And then this is infused through a standard infusion set. The excess air and bubbles are taken away and a standard wind fan is used. One must emphasize that we must not use this as a substitute or an alternative for major autohemotherapy. However, ozonated saline has its own applications, easily usable, easily infusible and infused at around 40 to 50 drops a minute. Those who are interested in learning more about ozone applications can WhatsApp me the above number for details. Thank you.